The get method in Python's dict class is a powerful tool that allows you to retrieve values from a dictionary in a more controlled and flexible manner compared to the standard key access. Understanding how get works can help you avoid common pitfalls and write more robust code. Understanding the basics of the get method. In Python, dictionaries are collections of key value pairs where each key is unique, and the value associated with a key can be accessed by referencing that key. However, one of the challenges when working with dictionaries is handling the situation where a key does not exist in the dictionary. Attempting to access a non-existent key using the usual bracket notation results in a key error. This is where the get method comes in handy. The get method allows you to retrieve the value associated with a specific key in a dictionary but with an important difference. If the key is not found, it returns a default value instead of raising an error. Syntax of the get method. The syntax for the get method is straightforward. Plain text dict.get key default equals none. This is the key you want to search for in the dictionary. Default. This is an optional argument that specifies what should be returned if the key is not found. If no default value is provided, none is returned. Key features and benefits of using get. One, avoiding errors. The primary benefit of using get is that it prevents the program from crashing due to a key error when trying to access a key that does not exist in the dictionary. This is particularly useful in cases where the presence of a key is uncertain. Two, customizable default value. The get method allows you to specify a default value that is returned when the key is not found. This feature provides flexibility, as you can define a meaningful default response instead of simply getting none. 3. Simplifies code. Using get can simplify your code by eliminating the need for additional checks to see if a key exists in the dictionary before accessing its value. This leads to cleaner and more readable code. 4. Using conditional logic. The method is particularly useful in scenarios where you're performing operations based on the existence of a key. By providing a sensible default value, you can streamline conditional logic and avoid repetitive checks. Practical Applications Handling Missing Data In data processing tasks, you often encounter situations where some keys might be missing from your data structure. The GET method allows you to handle such cases gracefully by providing a default value that can be used in place of missing data. Counting and Aggregation when performing counting or aggregation tasks, you can use get to initialize counters or accumulators with a default value, e.g. zero, if a key does not yet exist in the dictionary. Configuration management. In applications with configuration settings stored in dictionaries, you can use get to access configuration values, falling back to default settings if a particular configuration key is absent. Summary. The get method in Python's dict class is a versatile tool that enhances the safety and readability of your code when working with dictionaries. By returning a default value instead of raising an error when a key is not found, get allows you to handle missing keys gracefully and customize the behavior of your program in such situations. Whether you're processing data, managing configurations, or performing aggregations, get offers a simple yet effective way to access